Mitch Raposo versus J Justin Valentin. I know Mitch is here and available, right. and he's ready to call in. So, Nick. <laughs> What's a king to a guy? Alright, alright. Boom! What's going on? What's up, boys? Stabbing Mitch Raposo. You're much more handsome than the photo that I use, and I will yeah, take full responsibility. Why do you hate that picture? I was pissed. Dude, I, I just cut the 125, bro. Look, I'm dead. Well, listen, man. We do the photos on way today. Yeah. I know, dude. That looks awful. Yeah, so if I remember correctly, I kept coming over to you and being like, yo, wait a little bit until you uh, get some yeah. fluids in you. That is you not you did say that. You did say that. <laughs> so I can only control, like, the, the pictures of you. Yeah. I can only can control, brother. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was about 20, 25 pounds lighter than usual, but it's all good. Oh, good, man. So obviously, you know, not the way we wanted to end 2023. Kind of shitty uh -huh. with your opponent falling out on fight day, um, you know, but we jumped right back in, you know, we talked backstage and we were like trying to come up with a plan and, you know, we, you knew you were ready for January. If nothing else came to fruition in the meantime, you got Justin Valentin. He was the original guy we were supposed to be going against. Uh, you know, what do you think of this matchup coming up? I would say, you know, I've been trying to fight him kind of for years. I'm not saying he like didn't take the fight or whatever. He was always in Connecticut and I was always fighting for you as an amateur. So, he never came over, but you know, I've, I've been down to fight him for a long time. He's always been a stud. I mean, Justin's tough. Everybody knows that. Uh, I don't really care who it is. You know what I'm saying? I've kind of just, uh, I'm just taking it day by day and I just want to get there. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get there. I don't really care like who it is. You know, I told you to line up five guys, you know? <laughs> so I, I really, I really don't give a shit, man. I just want to fight. It really pisses me off. That I only fought once last year. So I just want to get in there. Yeah, man. I, obviously I, I know how it feels for you. You know, as you, you, you expressed it to me. You know, I, I gotta say he's 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 not wrong. He's just like I don't care who it is, mm -hmm. I'll fight anybody. He's like I'll go up and wait if I have to. He just Mitch Raposo just wants to fight. I've seen some slack that we've been getting in on the Instagram. The the, the haters, I I always hate bringing up the haters. It's just like you don't want to give them the noise, but it's just like come on, man. Justin Valentin's ranked number two in all of New England. It's like number one versus number two. What else do you want from you as a fighter, and what else do you want from us as a promotion? It's the number one guy versus the number two. <laughs> No, I just feel like people are always looking to like a way to like discredit me, man. It's like it's it's just funny. I don't really I don't really care. I even feel even overlooked even like the year of twenty twenty three. Like I feel like I had one of the most impressive performances by far, but I just wasn't busy, so it kind of just got nothing like I didn't take it personal or anything, but I just feel like it's I'm just always looking for something to fuel me, you know. So I just want to get in there and show people, you know, it's looking at the comments like dude, I was gonna fight the fifteenth guy in the country and then I was gonna fight him the following weekend. And then I even told you to get me, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, anybody. Like, this shit's, you know, people are going to see. Well, I just can't wait, man. Less than three weeks, so. I have been on the scene forever who has held every amateur title, never been finished first uh, as well. So this is, like you said, a top-tier guy on the scene, no doubt about it. One versus two in New England. What are some of the challenges you're, you're seeing in him as an opponent, with that being said? I would say, uh, I mean, Justin's dangerous. I mean, he throws big. I, he, he's a brown belt, I think, on the ground. I don't know. I don't really give a shit, dude. Like, I, I kind of just feel like I'm ready to just go out there and just do what I do. When people fight me and they're going to fight my fight, you know, that's why I feel like I'm so good. And I feel like even you saw that at the, the highest level. When guys fight me, they it's not, like, the same, you know. And I just feel like I just made some mental errors, but I'm not even close to the same guy, dude. And I just, I just want to show it. I feel like I've been showing it, but. Maybe this one's going to go a little bit longer and I can really, you know, show people that I don't belong here, man. Like, get me to fucking sign me up. You're on a good way of showing it with a three-fight finish streak uh, since being back on the scene. And this is one of those fights where if you become the first person to finish Justin Bell, then it's certainly going to be another step, big step in the right direction. And especially as motivated as you are to get back in there with the, what happened, last card out. I mean, you just... I'm excited. I'm, I'm stoked. I, I love I love your mindset, honestly, because yeah. I I you know I, I think about this too, like you know that whole like you know when people ask fighters, like I don't care like I don't care what he's gonna do. He's got to deal with me. I, I love that mindset because a lot of times you you know the questions asked, oh, what do you think he's gonna do? It's like I don't give a fuck what he's gonna do. I know who I am and I know what I can do. He's got to worry about me. I love that mindset about you. Is that something that's new or has that kind of always been with you your entire career? 
Uh, I would say kind of, I wouldn't say it's new. I just think that I have a lot more confidence in my skill set. I think, I think it shows, I think it's obvious. You know what I'm saying? Not to cuss, but I used to fight like a little bitch. And now I, I go out there and I put people to sleep. You know, it's, it's a little different, you know, but I've always had that kind of style. People are going to, people are going to fight my fight. You know, you, you, you bring up a, a point of, I'm not going to say you fought like a bitch by mm -hmm. any means, but you know, you, you, you do kind of bring up a point like, you know, you went on, you were winning a lot of decisions. And then as of recent, it's like, you're putting motherfuckers out. Like, you know, it's, so it's been like a, it's been like a, a, a it's kind of churning. Like like a complete what clicked? Snowball effect of growth and devastation. Yeah. So what clicked? Was it something different? Was it like a different way of training? Was it just the mindset? Is it obviously you've been fighting for us since you were 18 years old. Is it something to do with like, maybe now you're like, you're growing into a bigger body. Like, what do you think you can attribute to? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot smarter people than me that will say that. And I've heard some shit when you turn 25 or something that you grow into a man or whatever. I don't know, dude. I, I would say I'm just more confident. You know, I'm more confident. I know who I am. I've, I've lost in the biggest stage and I only had myself to deal with it. And I was, there was, I went through a dark time, but now people are seeing that pain, you know, I, I went through that pain alone, but people are seeing that pain now, you know what I'm saying? And they're feeling it now and they're going to continue to until I get out of here. Well, I, I, I like that attitude. You know, honestly, like we've, we've said it a lot of times and, 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 and for me as a, as, as a cage as a promoter, it's like, Hey, we love having guys like you fight for us and whoever it may be, but it's like, there is a progressional, you know, that we're supposed to be going to. And it's like, if, if this is your last one with us, like I, I say it all the time. It's like, I don't want you back. I don't want you back. Like fucking leave us. It's, and people like funny. It's like, you got a guy that's fighting for you. It's like, Hey, I don't want to be back. It's like, is that, is that insulting? It's like, no, we don't want you back either. Like, we want you to leave. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's the that's, progression, that's what, man. Uh, that's what that's, why it's meant. That's, that's, that's what we do. That's, yeah. It is the ultimate goal for us. We want to see your names and lights and, and the trajectory you're on to get there after having tasted it. And I love the, uh, the lessons that you have brought back from it and how that's propelled you into the street that you're on now. Um, and it's, just, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to take make. I don't want people to think to take like I don't like. Trust me, I'm grateful. Like just, uh, the way I I see it, and uh, I try to keep this mindset. Like especially be, being around guys like Calvin and Rob, they they keep this mindset. Like I'm only gonna be able to fight in front of my family and friends, you know, for X amount of time. So yeah, I'm, there's there's a good and bad part. But obviously, I want to be fighting in sold out arenas. You know, I want to be getting paid big big money. You know, I love fighting at Cage Giants, but I just don't want to. You know, I love fighting uh, home, and yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it while I'm here. You know. Yeah, and and I I appreciate you clarifying because that that's kind of what I, the point I was getting at. Like, you know, it, it's it's funny. I've had people be like, "Man, that guy interview saying he hopes this is his last fight for you," and it's just like, "No, man, like, yeah, that's man. that's that's what we're here for." Like, I'll be me. at every case. Yeah, 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 man. Not a dude. So, I'm on case. I know you got a five a.m. training session, so we're not we don't have you for <laughs> a lot of time. So we're gonna try to keep it quick. And nice, good, you I, good. I, I don't want to keep it too late, man. You got to get your beauty yeah. sleep so I don't get yelled at for your pictures anymore. It's a fucking day. That's going to be a photo shoot that isn't a weigh-in day. That's I'm, talking about it. It's the next no, I, I just got to be hydrated. There we go. Um, you know, training with the likes of New England Cartel, you know, um, you know, tell us a little bit, like, how that's that's helped you out and, and how you guys feed off each other. You know, this is probably a question you get from a lot of people, but, you know, the fans do like to hear about it. Yeah, you know, like I, of course, I have my home team, Regiment Training Center, for over Massachusetts, who I'm, you know, born and raised. You know, and uh, I just feel like obviously I'm getting like Tyson's my manager, but he's also a coach now of mine. You know, and uh, I've gotten really close uh, to him over the last year, year or two, and I see obviously you guys see how good of a coach he is. He and I feel like having him now is essential, and having those guys, of course, I feel like those guys are gonna be in my career forever. You know, I'm grateful. I'm like I'm blessed. Like you know, I got two guys. Of course, I you have Joe Lowe's on and. New England's had some guys at the biggest level and it's awesome. But Calvin and Rob are like guys I'm really, really close to. I've been on fight trips with and I'm a part of those camps and having those guys that are part of my life now, you know, where I plan on being forever, regardless if I'm here or on Vegas, those guys are like brothers to me. So like, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, just take what I can from them, man. I'm, I'm trying to be a sponge in every sense. And I want to just, I'm trying to get to that life, you know, like that's where I want more than anything. Yeah. yeah. And, and regiment bringing another small army of people Paul yeah. representing again. You guys have been putting the work in down there. Newport Mike, Aaron Hughes, Carter, again, back. I feel like they're all fought on last card, and you guys are all keeping up the activity. So you're getting the work up in 
uh, with the New England cartel and what's things like back at home and Fall River with, with all the boys and preparing simultaneously and everybody getting geared up, whether it's early on in the amateur career or at the level that you're at right now. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So what it is. Give, give, give us a quick, uh, give us a quick like little rundown on like the next line of killers that are, that are coming out of regiment down, down your hometown. You know, I know Jordan, the only one I haven't mentioned is Jordan. Jordan, uh, we're hopefully confirming he's, he we're confirming his fight tonight. So Jordan should be the last guy of the regiment. So I think you guys can bring in four or five to this card. Yeah. yeah and then we got kick, kickboxing guys. Obviously, of course you guys know some, obviously some amateur guys. Carter is somebody that, you know, his first fight, I was in his corner the kid he fought was a stud, you know. He really was. That kid, that kid's really good. You know, he he was he was really he was a Bokniak, uh guy, yep. I think. And I told him, I was like, dude, like that's probably your toughest fight that you're gonna have, mm -hmm. and you guys could run it back. You know, Carter's he's a dog, and he's a very he's good striking, good take down the fence. Like, you know, I obviously I know the Lane brothers. I wrestled with them in high school. I've trained with them a bunch. You know, they're they're definitely some studs, and uh, it's gonna be a good night of fights, man. Especially, I love you know like the, it's kind of like the come up. I came up the same way, so. You know, and then we got some jujitsu guys too. We got uh Hunter Brum. You gotta get him on like a, a grappling, like a what grappling. weight? He's doing striking now too. So what weight is Hunter? Uh I think he's 165. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, he's a beast, like beast. All right, I'll, I'll <laughs> mention it to Brian because uh Brian and I got a text tonight after the show to confirm right, yeah. that last fight. So I'll I'll ask about Hunter. Well, I don't want to keep you long, especially because you got early right. training and, and and we gotta focus on this fight, most importantly. Um, you know, we're going to have Justin, I think on later, uh, if you could say something to Justin, is there any message that you would want to send to him? No, nah, I mean, I, I feel like just, I, some guys, you guys know me, like I definitely can talk some shit and I like to get into it a little bit, but when the, Justin just doesn't, I don't really feel that for this one. I, I, I respect for Justin. I mean, I, I have a, I know how the fight's going to go, you know, and I, like I said, I, I don't, I've earned this, you know what I'm saying? I just got to go out there and take it now. And you guys know what I'm coming for. I'm going for the knockout. You know what I'm saying? The UFC knows. I know what the UFC wants. I've earned this, and I'm going to go out there and take it. Well, I was going to ask you for a, mis a mystic Mitch prediction, but you just well, gave it to us all in that answer. Hopefully we'll knock out. Everybody knows. You know what I'm saying? I'm going out there. To, I will leave no doubts. There you go. Well, Mitch, thank you for your time tonight. Good luck at the training session tomorrow, bright and early. And uh, I got your call. I saw you. Miss I missed your call yesterday. I'll call I got you. you. What time are you out tomorrow? Uh, I'll be up at five. I mean, after my workout. I'm not calling you at five. I'm not calling nine, you. I'll, like nine thirty, good. Yeah, my kids get on the bus at eight thirty, so nine thirty works. Let's go. All right, brother. I'll talk to you tomorrow.